So uh, my buddy asked me to fix this, his weed whacker. It's a hyper tough H2520. I believe this comes from Walmart and uh, his recoil spring exploded while he was working on it. So I'm gonna show you how to reseat this coil into this plate here. You can see that it's slotted. So on this coil, you can see it's uh, bent like a, there's a hook. That simply places in there like, like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I gotta just be patient and you're gonna use both hands. And once you get it started, it's not too bad. There's, there's a lot of tension on this. I'm just gonna keep rotating it. And once you get it going, there we go. That's what I wanted. Let me push this out of the way. Just take your time and keep working it like that. And as you can see, it's keeping its form within this, this silver, almost looks like a washer. I'll keep working that. I'm using my th thumbs and my fingers to keep that firm, and that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead into the next portion of the assembly for this. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this in, in the first or second step. This pulley and the pull string, I, um, there's there's like several knots on here and it's fed through that hole right there and it stays on the in, the knots on the inside of this pulley so i undone the knot and i think it's easier to go about it this way so i'm going to set these off to the side and just be patient and gentle with this because it'll pop open as you can see i use my screwdriver to point that, that that coil is seated in here and you can see there's a slot right here and you want to match that slot like so so it's tricky because this goes upside down screwdriver to give me a little assistance here and that's what you want right there I also felt to point out that uh, the coil has this end hooked and this end is kind of, it's hooked, but it's rounded and that rounded portion seats right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in there. It's a little tricky. And you could see that opening there. So you, you can use that as a guide to find that rounded portion of that quill. And then it, it just dropped right in. And how you'll know it works is if you keep that down and you turn this, you could feel the tension and watch it'll unwind back. So that's that was I got lucky on that. Sometimes it doesn't work out that easy. I also want to point out with this pulley 
is once you have that rope in there and, it, and you know you have a knot that's probably about where you're going to be at after the knot maybe a little less so what i'm going to do is get a count on how many uh, i'm going to find out the circumference of this so i'm going to wrap this so there's one whoop, two three that's about four four times and it's you're gonna have some slack because it's gonna have some spacing between the pulley and, and the plastic housing so it's right around four and uh, I'm gonna show you why I went about that and some steps down the road okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you without You could see that this eye, eye here almost lines up with the hole in that pulley where the rope goes through. But what I need to do is bring the tension of this spring back to its original state so that I'm going to wind it and I'm going to feed the string through, put it in a knot, and then when, when I'm going to let it unwind, you'll have your pull string in its original state. So I'm gonna show you how I go about that. So pay attention to that, uh, use, use a reference point, like like that arrow um, and, and in another location on um, the housing here. So right here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a flat flathead screwdriver and insert it and then all you do is just turn it like that so right there is and I'm, I'm, I'm pushing tension down because I don't want that spring to pop up so it's one it's two three and there's four I'm gonna go one extra or a half if I can but I gotta Make sure that that lines up. It's getting tight. So now I got my hand in position to hold that down. And I'm pretty close. I could give it maybe a little baby turn. I don't know if you could see that. With the lighting, I'm sorry. And there is that hole. Almost in line with that, that hole there. So to make this easier, I'm gonna just take my needle nose and this pops right off. And it probably wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands doing this, especially when it comes to the part for the knot. So what I'm gonna do, I, I fed that little keyway there and I'm gonna drop this right into that hole. And there it is. Sorry if the lighting's not the best. There we go. So I'm gonna pull that back out here and I'm gonna make my knot somewhere in this portion. I'm sure there's a way that I can clamp this down somehow, holding it in place. But like I said, a second set of hands would really come, would really help you out there. Okay, so I got that back in. It's like a, it's a double knot, and I went and inserted that back in. So I'm gonna clear the way here. I'm gonna let that go back nice and easy. Put two hands and let that wind. You can see the tensions there. There it is. So I'm gonna hold that there so you can see the, I'm sorry. Oh. 
nice and tight. There's no slack in here. And that's how I went about that. Now, going to the next portion. So we're left with this spring. And this is kind of like a pulley and sprocket all in one. And you can see there's an arrow on that. And then there's an arrow right here. So this spring will stay seated inside here, like so. And then the other portion of that spring lines up right here. And so when you pull the, the string, those notches there will be a part of the, um, the starting mechanism in here. I'm not sure of the proper term for that, but that's what I wanted to show you. And um, I couldn't find any other video that explained it this way. Uh, most of the time they skipped right over it. Um, after that, the assembly is pretty easy. And you got the shut off here, the kill switch. It doesn't matter. Well, at least for this, it doesn't matter which wire went where on these two prongs. All that is is a kill switch and it grounds it out, disables the, um, the circuit from there.